Hello everyone, this is Nathan Bryan from the Digital Monkey School, and this is class number four uh, of the Beginner's Class to Maya. Today we're going to be working on the head, and I'm going to show you how to turn this into a basic head shape. So right now I've just taken this basic shape. It has a subdivision down the center that I'm using to mirror over. And it has two subdivisions on the height, which I'm using to shape the back side of the head. I'm going to take you into Photoshop for a second to give you an idea as to how to turn that into a head. So here's our head. We're going to first try and figure out where the skeleton is. So I, I've drawn the basic skull of this badly drawn head and you can you can sort of see that there's sort of a ridge that happens here and it kind of follows this pattern that goes around the head and that's going to be sort of the the side of our cube and you know we have a face which is going to be the front of our cube and then right around here at the eyebrows will be the top of the head, which arches over. Bring out the cube here. And you can see that I start off by extruding forward to where the face is going to be. Right now I'm just keeping it a very simple shape. We're using something slightly more dynamic by adding a couple of edge loops. But the side of the cube will still remain the side and the front will still remain the front and the top is still the top. On the front of the cube we want to have this sort of shape on it so we are going to be extruding the nose forward and the eyes inward and the mouth is going to be extruding inward as well. Let's go back to our model. So let's delete this we have beginning of our head here, it's just the back, so we're going to extrude the face forward. It helps a lot if you already have this drawn out, but if you don't, you can just sort of guess the general shape of the head. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the face just a little bit. This is, we see the chin here, the neck's going to be connecting up to there. And we're going to be placing these two edges, one where the mouth is, and one where the eyes are going to be. So there's the beginning to our head shape. Just sort of correcting any slight issues with the head. And remember, it is still a cube. So we still have the side, which is a series of faces. We have a front, which consists of six faces there. We have the top. All the sides are still there, and we can still sort of see them. Uh, we have an amount of flatness along the face. We have an amount of flatness along the side and the top. We just are giving the basic idea of where this head is going to be. Just sort of shaping it out the best I can. So there it is. Okay, so we have our eyes here, and this is when we're going to start adding edge loops. Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop. We're going to start by knocking out where the nose is going to be. Nose is right around here between the mouth and the eyes. All right. And then the nose goes up to, you know, sort of ridges up to the top of the eyes. We've got the bottom of the eyes right here. So right now I'm still just kind of basically hashing out where the eyes are. Um, the corner of the eye on the front here will be matching up with the edge of the nose. So I go ahead and draw the outside corner of the eye and begin shaping you know, where the eye is. We can do this from the front view. 
it'll keep it a little bit flatter and easier to see everything. So I go ahead and hash out that general shape around the eye. Make sure we don't have anything selected in the back of the head whenever we do things in the front view. So we can go ahead and move the eyes around to get them you know, exactly where we want them. Go ahead and shape out the nose and the area around the mouth a little. If we go back to our picture, you can see there's a bit of space between where the mouth starts extruding in and the chin. We have to make sure and get that chin area in, so we're gonna go ahead and add an, another edge loop at the bottom of that mouth area. Start filling out the area of that. There's always more you can do to go ahead and shape things. Everything should still remain pretty flat. Okay. So we know that this area right here is going to be making up the nose. This area here will be making up the mouth. And that's the eye. It's a little hard to see at first, but if you've done it a couple of times, you'll begin to start recognizing these shapes and being able to control them. Right now, I'm just sort of cleaning up the edge loops around the face. The edge loops should be fairly smooth. There's a little bit of a jet there, but that's fine. We're just gonna kind of smooth it out so it looks like a nice line across the face. is going to sort of be the bump of the nose, the ridge. All right, let's extrude the nose out. I'm going to go ahead and just select those faces and extrude them forward. And go ahead and shape it from the side. So that's the ridge of the nose. Go ahead and lift that up a little bit. So we can begin to see that, that shape that is a nose. From the front view, we'll want to try and get that to look smooth in certain places. Maybe on the ridge it comes out a little bit more. Um, maybe it comes out a bit more at the tip if you want to get sort of that more Roman feel to it. the nose nostrils up a little bit and maybe back and start seeing you know, there's a bit of personality to it there's a bit of character next is the eyes so we're going to select those and extrude them okay now this is the actual eye hole the other one was the hole for where the eyes fit into the skull so if you shaped it wrong, like I purposefully did here, uh, you can go ahead and select the, all of those faces and you know scale them around. So now you can see that that's the eye. And you can go ahead and you know fix any edges that need to be moved. Remember every time that you do an extrude along the center, the center meaning the center line of the face, they're going to be faces built up on the inside, so make sure to go through and delete all of those. So we're beginning to see that shape in the face. If you need to, you can move vertexes around. Remember, we've got a shape that we're going for. We've got this arc along the side of the head that comes into the cheekbone 
and then comes around and down towards the chin in a very smooth manner. Like that. We can select those and extrude in one more time because this is where the eyes are going to be fitting into the head. For the mouth, we're selecting this whole area underneath the nose. We're going to extrude it and we're just going to scale it way down. Okay, see how when I scale it, because it's mirrored over, it scales with a space in the center? To fix that, we can hit insert and move this to that center line. Hit, uh, hit insert again and now we can scale from that center. So we can go ahead and move that to the place that the mouth is going to be. Move it out a little bit. And then fix, of course, fix the, the vertices. This is going to be the corner of the lips here. You can sort of begin to see the lips if he's got a big lower lip. You can go ahead and pull that out. It's got big upper lips. You can pull those up and out. So you can sort of see the lips forming there. And then all of these we're going to extrude again. And we're going to scale them down again move them back a little so now we have the actual lips showing and we're going to extrude that and move those back inside the head we're going to want something that looks a little bit like a hamburger so we're going to go ahead and extrude the, or scale this back out, up we not want something nice and large so we can fit teeth and tongue in there Go ahead and move the vertexes around now because on the inside here we're going to want something a little bit more circular and smooth. Okay, once we have this, we can scale this whole thing or extrude this whole thing back again giving that sort of hamburger shape that I was talking about. This is going to be the mouth. If you want to, uh, if you're going to be up close and personal with the character, you can extrude scale from the center. Move it back and then down. You can even rotate it a little bit so that you can't see that face at the very end of the throat. So now we have the lips, the eyes, we can reshape things however we need if we see any issues. So there's our face. Make sure you delete any extra faces from extruding. Connecting it is as simple as deleting the faces on the opposing objects, lining up the edges, you can even go as far as to snap these vertexes to their specific places. Because, because there's probably going to be a little bit of um, uh, a lack of edges in certain places for both of them. You can actually go ahead and line them up differently. You can always fix them later. So don't worry about that. If we have any extra faces, we can go ahead and either add extra faces or find ways to clean it up so that all the faces remain in quads or four sides. So there you have it. Um, in the next session, we'll like finish up the model next class, and we'll begin the stages of rigging.
So have a great afternoon, and I'll talk to you next class.